Well, what a miserable UK day today. More rain. So, anyway, I'm out in the garage. Thought I'd do a, a quick video on uh, what's involved in bike checks and prep leading up to a round of going racing. Uh, we're just under two weeks away now from the final event of the year and the final round of the championships at Mallory Park. Um, assuming from the last round you did, or I did, depending on if anything goes wrong or anything breaks. The usual checks that I do before a meeting, bear in mind it's surprising also what can work loose. Um, I always start from the, uh, the front and work my way back. So I'll be checking things like the... You can see under here or not. Let's have a look. The fork leg bolts. Check in there tight to make sure the steering and everything and the handlebar system is all tight. I'll also be checking things like the uh, disc bolts, caliper bolts, fork seals are okay. Tires in good condition, which I know they are. Then I'll move around to the top. I'll be checking things like lever mounting bolts. All these bolts will be checked, including the clip-on bolts. Checking those for tightness. And also the top pinch bolts, which are these ones. There's two of those, one that side, one that side, making sure they're all tight. Making sure things like the these are actually... Uh, Secured in position by screws, so I'll be making sure they're all tight. I'll be making sure the brake fluid is topped up okay. Working down the side, the fairing bolts, they don't really tend to work loose, but sometimes I might give those a check. Things like the rear set mountings, these are quite common to be working loose, so um, this one. That's got a little bit of play in it, and when you can see that, but it's got a little bit of play in it, so I'll be I'll be sorting that out, getting that tightened up. Back towards the rear of the bike, um, I'll be checking not so much wheel spindle bolts because you don't know what tyres are going to be running yet, so you might have to change the wheels. So that's something that'll probably be done on the day. Um, certainly, the sprocket sprocket mounting bolts they'll be checked, making sure the the rain light will be working. Going around this side, always worth checking that. You don't want your exhaust coming off. Also, also worth checking your hanger bolts. Same on this side, your rear set mounting points, making sure they're all tight. Um, I'll also be having a look at the coolant level, or should I say distilled water, because you're not allowed to run actual antifreeze coolant in your radiators on the track, for obvious reasons if you crash or you have a major leak. Antifreeze on the race track isn't good, it's going to be very slippy. Um, I'll be checking the engine oil. So I'll be taking off the the lock wire of the filler plug. You can just see the wire. That's the filler plug. I'll be checking the level of the engine oil. These are all just routine checks that I like to do before going to an event. Um, because it's five weeks since we last raced, I'll be draining out some of the old fuel that's in the tank. And then I always like to use fresh fuel for race day. I'll leave a little, just a little bit in there, but I like to use fresh fuel. I always use the super unleaded fuel rather than just the unleaded fuel. I just think, I do think it gen genuinely runs a bit better on the super unleaded fuel rather than the standard cheaper unleaded fuel. Tank bolt mounting points, that'll be checked. So yeah, that's just a little walk around. Um, sometimes these can work loose. The front brake lever protection guard. They can work loose sometimes, so I'll be checking that for tightness. Little things like this, that uh, despite the fact this bike was faultless at the two-day event, over the two days of racing, and we came away with four wins on it, it is surprising what can work loose, as I've just proven to you by this footless. Hang it, it's the hanger bolt there. That one's worked slightly loose, so is that one, so they'll be nipped right up. Um, always worth checking your... Swinging arm pivot nut, making sure that's tight. You don't want that working loose because the bike's going to handle like a, a rocking horse, to be honest. Uh, something else I check, I often do this on race days as well, whether it's a one-day event or a two-day event. I always check the top yoke nut is tight. 
many years ago I had one of these work loose on a bike and trust me you don't want to be riding a bike on a racetrack with a loose, a loose steering head bolt because it is almost unrideable. So yeah that is pretty much it, a little walk around on a very wet day, it's pretty depressing at the moment in the weather. So uh, just yeah one more thing, don't want to miss anything off. Front sprocket, there's two little bolts there, one there and one there, 10 mil. I'll check their tight, they very rarely work loose but I, I check them for peace of mind. And then you know you're going into an event with everything checked, anything that happens after that is pretty much out of your hands. So there we go, hope you enjoyed that little walk around of what gets checked before we go racing.